Alright, welcome back to another episode of my movie review series during Hauntober. Now, last night I said that I was going to come back and do a review on Candyman. And judging by the fact that today is the exact day of the release date of this movie back in 1992, how appropriate to do a review on this movie. So yeah, Candyman, back in 1992, you know, this was, like Chucky, this was another face of horror. The new face of horror. And they were trying to usher in another horror icon. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those movies that should have ended at one. One of those movies that should have ended at one. But they did make two more films about Candyman. You know, two sequels and... Yeah, like I said, this movie should have ended at one. Now, you know, movie is about an urban legend of a man, a former slave, you know, post Civil War time. He was burned. Alive. Well, not burned alive, but what? What was? It? He was a uh, stung to death by angry bees after some people, you know, wiped the uh, the honeycomb all over him, cut off his hand, and placed it with a rusted bloody hook. So. He goes through as legend, and to the uh, housing project, the Chicago housing projects, he is legend. You know the name Candyman. That's the name that strikes fear in the hearts of the Chicago residents. The projects of um, Cabernet, Cabernet Green projects. So, you know, this woman, this grad student named Helen Lyle, she don't uh, believe in the legend, which is going to be a big problem for her. So, she uh, decided to do a thesis on urban legends and she comes across the story of Candyman so she finds out all she can about this story and that's all he is to her a story which was she will find out he is more than just a legend he's the real thing so when she finds that, uh, you know, she finds that Candyman is just a, a name around town, you know, she finds out the hard way, but she finds that, uh, <clears throat> later she, uh, turns this imposter Candyman into the cops. Yeah, he needed he 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 nearly beat her to death, so she turned him into the cops. And now that she pretty much perpetuated the uh, belief of Candyman, the real Candyman comes back, and he makes her his victim. Come with me, be my victim. <laughs> so
So, the real Candyman haunts her. Throughout this movie, he just haunts her. And start killing everybody that she pretty much come in contact with and make it look like that she has done it. Because he needs to be alive. He needs to be known. So, when she found out that a woman's baby was kidnapped, they made it think that she's the one that did it. But Candyman, he's the one that took the child, and he will show her where as long as she becomes his victim. So, poor Helen, she has to, uh, she pretty much she pretty much uh, give in to him. So now she is a, a, a pawn in his game. But when Oh, Candyman reneges on the deal. And he makes an attempt to have the entire community go and in, go in, uh, into a bonfire. You know, build a bonfire and they have the, uh, the residents of Coburny Green light it up. While the baby is inside, Helen goes inside. She saves the kid and destroys Candyman in the fire. But not before she is badly burned and later dies of her injuries. But now, she is part of legend. She is part of folklore. I'll tell you something, man. Yeah, this movie, yeah, a lot has happened in this movie. And yeah, <laughs> it was pretty much hard for me to um, explain it. But yeah, that was like the best I could, could have um, done. But yeah, Kenny Man, yeah, he was like, like once again the new face of horror. Yeah, they were trying to uh, gain another horror, uh, another horror franchise to get another character into the mix. And yet, yeah, no, in other ways, in ways that yeah, they um. They were successful at it. I mean, that's the um, one of the main roles that Tony Todd has uh, been recognized for. I mean, everybody knows him as Candyman. Everybody asks him about Candyman. So yeah, that's one of the main roles that he's been recognized for. And yeah, in 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 a way. It has been uh, it has been a success, and he is um, he Candyman is the uh, another horror icon. I mean, he's not quite up there with the heavyweights of uh, Kruger and Voorhees, but he's there. He's on that next to um, lower level. He's there. Everybody know about Candyman. Everybody know about this movie. So yeah, this movie came out in 1992 on this very day, October 16th. Hmm. What an appropriate time to release this video, release this review. 
But yeah, you know, the movie, yeah, like I said, you know, a lot has happened in this movie. You know, the story of Candyman was told, and he's like an urban legend. So, yeah. The story of Candyman was told. And now, with the ending of it, you know, the story of Helen Lyle will be told. But, you know, that's the thing with urban legends, you know. One story gets told, be handed down by another generation or another generation. It might be told differently. But, yeah, the tagline of this movie, though. Dare you just say his name five times because that's how he comes to you. Look in that mirror, say his name five times. And there he is, laying that hook into you because you are now his victim. You believe in him. Without this, he is nothing. So, yeah, you know, I get this movie though. You know, it's very watchable. You know, I've watched it over a bunch of times. <laughs> very watchable movie. So, yeah, you know, it's not one of my favorites, you know, but it's a very watchable movie. You know, it's. I give it the okay rating of a three out of five. So, that was my review, and I'm sticking to it. Now, I'll be back in a few more days to give you episode 60, but until then, check out my other shit right here and subscribe to me right here. Because October it's not over yet. Show 